Now let's think about this for a moment before we drill our hole, right? What you got to use is 12-2 with ground, 12 gauge wire, and here's my little piece. I'm going to do this whole project with this. I just happen to have this piece of wire. I didn't have to go to the store and buy a whole roll or anything like that. It's at the store. You can get 12-2 uh, in maybe 15 foot roll, 25 foot roll, and they'll even cut it for you if you ask them, then they charge you by the foot. You know, so, so any way you can do it, okay? So 12 gauge is for 20 amp, and that's what I have, remember? I don't want to use 14 gauge wire because that's too small, okay? So the higher the number, the bigger the wire. 12 gauge wire is, is fairly stout wire. 10 gauge is even thicker. 14 gauge is thinner, okay? 14 gauge is for 15 amp circuits. This is a 20 amp circuit breaker and I know I've got 12 gauge wire. I'm looking at this wire over here and I'm not sure what they ran. You know, it almost looks like they ran 15 gauge wire or 14 gauge wire. I don't know why they did that. They've got it on a 20 amp breaker but this is existing. I can't do anything about that so I, I it's I'd rather be safe than sorry. So there's the, there's the theory. 12, 12 gauge wire, 20 amp breaker. 14 gauge wire, 15 amp breaker. Okay? So we got a 20 amp breaker. So I'm going to use this 12, 12 2 with ground. This is cable sheathed wire. So we're going to strip that off. There's three wires in there a black wire, a ground wire, which is copper wire, and a white wire. Okay, but we've got to think about this before we drill the hole. 